Immediately following the show, I guess every night of the week around the country, is Late Night with David Letterman. And David is out here now. Here is David Letterman. Ladies and gentlemen, thank yes, you. Sir. It's nice to be here. It's a magic night, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it magic? Electricity in the air. Ed's here. Yeah. Ed reminds me of like a really successful Shriner. I like Ed. <laughs> uh, and you're one of the few people who hasn't cut a record with Julio Iglesias. That's right. Yes. That's right. Julio was here. Yeah. Have you actually given away any of those million dollar yes. cash prizes? Four. Wait, you Four say, of them. Where I will personally award this giant yes, prize? I do it personally. Does anybody call up and say, no, Ed, just mail it in? No, no. <laughs> they want to see me. They want to see me. If you win, I'll come to your house. <laughs> I got one in the mail from him one day. Is that right? Oh, one yes. The, uh, says yeah. you may have already won. And what, what happened? Nothing. I didn't yeah, win. No, didn't win. Probably not. Didn't win. It's, it's on the up and up, though, right? Oh, yeah. Not Very a scam? legit. No, no. Okay. <laughs> Does this man look like he would be involved in a scam? No. Is Rock no, of Gibraltar here, Mr. Honest? It's a magic night, isn't it? Magic night. It's, right. a, it's a magic week. This is the... Uh, we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Statue of Liberty. If you go now, say you load up to Winnebago and you're leaving, I don't know, Barstow today. Yeah. And you motor out east to uh, the Meadowlands, Giant Stadium. Right. One of these days, <laughs> a, a travel agent who has a package now. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. We can put sure. that together. <laughs> um, you know, you, and this David Walper is doing like nine different shows. Mm -hmm. And they're each like six hours long. And, uh, and one of them features... Now, remember what we're celebrating here. A hundred years of the Statue of Liberty, the July, uh, Fourth of July, the, the birth of this great nation of ours. I say that, by the way, for cheap applause. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Right. Um, We're not against that on this show. No. So if, if you go to one of these shows, like one afternoon, 80,000 people at Giant Stadium, and you know it'll be comfortable uh, the middle of uh, uh, early July in, in New Jersey. Oh. No humidity there, it's like Manila. Um, <laughs> you're gonna see a show with 200 Elvis impersonators. To me, that says liberty, damn yes, it. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Let's dignified occasion. Absolutely. Will you be there during the festival? No, no, I'm here. I'm on vacation. But, oh, I see. You're After not... we settle our little unpleasantness, then uh, I'm on vacation. <laughs> that is true. You're here really for, for two reasons. Uh, that's right, two reasons. We are friends, and we're going to talk a little bit, and then we do have some differences that yeah. I think have to be settled. That's right. And, and they will be settled. I have every confidence that the judicial system in this country works. <laughs> If the price is right. But I you know, sir, right. I'm willing to put my, uh, my case in the hands of yeah. Judge Walker, yeah. and we'll, okay. we'll get to that later. We're going to do that now or later? No, we'll do that later. What, I, what, what? Look what I found on my mailbox. I'm in New York City, mm -hmm. uh, and I come back here to do this. And, you know, uh, you get flyers. They'll leave them on your windshield or in your mailbox about uh, home repairs, uh, handymen. Uh, guys will come and tidy up and do work around the house. So I get this at my house, and, and, and this is absolutely true. Take a look at this right here, a hand-lettered brochure. If you have odd jobs, repair work, clean up around your house, contact these guys, the Fix'em Dudes. <laughs> I think the name says it all, doesn't it, yes. folks? Here's Master Craftsman at work. It's the... <laughs> honey, honey, who, who should we get to rewire the house? You want to get this reliable electrical uh, contractor here? They're rated triple A. No, let's turn it over to these boys, the Fix'em <laughs> Dudes. I want them fouling the premises. You don't suppose these guys are too badly surfed out, do you? No. no. <laughs> you should. Uh, can we borrow a hammer? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, you should have. You should probably. Uh, now, now we'll talk about the other reason that you're here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which we have to address ourselves to. Tonight. Kind of a somber occasion, isn't it? Uh, in a way, yes. It went from a magic night to a somber occasion. Yes. All of a sudden. <laughs> do you remember some months ago? I I, I called you at, at your home. That's right. And uh, mentioned that you had a red truck parked in front of your house. Right. No surprise to me. No surprise at all. <laughs> and I, I thought, first of all, I said, I thought you put it out there. It was a cutout that you put on the street to show the tourists who come by that you're just a good old boy. <laughs> right. And, you know, look, look, David, he's got a pickup out there. He's, <laughs> he's one of us. And I said it was pretty junky. And I said, living in Malibu, I thought it was an eyesore. Yeah. And uh, should be removed. We had a few words about that. And, in fact, uh, when you were on the show last... Your truck did show up. That's right. On this stage. April 8th. It showed up on this stage. That's all I will say. It showed up here. April the 18th, I believe. Why, it was. why did it show up? It was stolen. Well, uh, thank uh, you. Uh, 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 uh. 
Allegation. No, no, that's that, that's that's an allegation, and we're we're going to have to discuss allegation? that. All right. Anyway, uh, you seem to feel that I've committed some kind of a, a heinous crime here, and it, it, that some damages are, are due you. And I thought the only way to really solve this was to, to bring a gentleman here tonight who does this every day, on people's court, Judge Wapner. He right. agreed to come here tonight, that's right. and uh, negotiate some kind of settlement, right? That's right. It's a little yeah. like big time wrestling here. That's isn't right, it? and we have. <laughs> that's right. And we, uh, we're both agreed to abide by his decision. That's right, out. absolutely. All right, we will take a break, and, the, and his honor will join us in a moment. You can pay for the money. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, to, uh, to, uh, uh, to review our case and to uh, reach a just decision, we agreed to ask a retired municipal and superior court judge who's been the presiding judge for five years on, on the People's Court. Would you welcome, please, Judge Joseph Wapner. <laughs> uh, gentlemen, since this is uh, an arbitration, I'm gonna have to ask you to be sworn, if you don't mind. No, 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 no. You and each of you do solemnly swear the testimony you are about to give in these proceedings Shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth shall help you God. More or less, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. yes, sir. There better be more. Yes, yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> do, I, do I begin, Judge? You, what happens here? You wait for me, Mr. Lennon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Letterman, uh, you're no Sandra Day O'Connor. <laughs> Please. Well, I got off to a wrong start there, didn't I? <laughs> Mr. Letterman, my understanding is that you have some complaint about a truck that was, uh, you allege, Mr. Carson took from you? Absolutely. I tell you. Where, yeah. where was that uh, truck, sir? Uh, if I could interrupt, uh, if it pleased the court. It, it wouldn't please me at all. <laughs> if, I, if I could interrupt here just a second. You know, a couple of weeks ago, we found out that there was going to be an opening on the Supreme Court, and, and I think myself and the rest of America just naturally assumed you'd be going to Washington. <laughs> You know, now it's kind of like a, a better luck next time token, and, and I hope you enjoy those, you and Mrs. Wapner. And, uh, thank you very much. Mr. Letterman, the price isn't right. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> now, let's get to the truck. Yes, sir. What kind of truck is it? Uh, Your Honor, tonight you're going to hear a story. No, uh, I don't want to hear the story. What kind of truck is it? Uh, it's a uh, fleet side, uh, half-ton 1973 Chevrolet pickup truck, roughly 75,000 miles on it. All right, good. Where, where was it parked when you alleged it was taken? Uh, right in front of my home, where it's always parked. On the, that's on the street? On the street, yes, sir. It's legally parked there? Absolutely. Okay, just ask the question. <laughs> uh, you claim that Mr. Carson or someone on his behalf took it? Absolutely, I've, I have proof to that effect. To Exhibit A, may, may I introduce Exhibit A at this point? Sure, go ahead. Okay, can we uh, roll the, the videotape? This happened uh, April 18th, uh, 1986. Uh, a team of terrorists attacked my home. <laughs> This man you see in the picture was earlier seen boarding the Achille Lauro. So there it is being carted away. And, and next, you'll see it here in the studio. Now pay close attention, Judge, if you will, to the left front headlight. There it is. See, it's in perfect working condition as of that night, 4-1886. Uh, and I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Zapruder for the footage. Now... Um, <laughs> I also, I also have some, some photographs to indicate that it was damaged after that fact. Uh, the truck I'll was... get to the damages, if yes. you don't mind. Mr. Carson, did you have that truck taken away and brought to the studio? Uh, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Letterman used the word stolen. No, I, I, just, I didn't yes. say stolen. Yes. I know he used the word, but I didn't. Yes, yes, sir, I did remove the truck from the premises. All right. Why An illegally parked truck on county uh, property. Well, I object, Your Honor, well, I object. Why was it, why I was object. it, why, well, don't object. It's not going to help you any. <laughs> Why was it illegally parked, sir? Oh, may I offer an evidence, uh, Your Honor? Yes, a, sir. a picture here? Yes. May I please uh, show this to you and then uh, show it to our viewing audience. You can see the truck parked partly on the street and on county property, not on the setback. All right. On the setback? What the hell's a setback? <laughs> you park on the setback? 
I did remove this as a private and public nuisance from the neighborhood. Why do you consider it a public nuisance? Yeah, I'd like to hear that. <laughs> Your Honor, uh, very often I have people come to my home at night, and because the truck is an eyesore and a relic, I would like to introduce first, Your Honor, if I may, uh, some tape of the truck to show the condition it was in, to show you why it was removed. May we have that tape, please, to show you the condition of this fine vehicle. Here is the inside of this fine, finely maintained automobile. You can see this. Okay. And of course, uh, just let me and, and see, Sorry. here's the well-kept uh, interior of the truck bed. All right, I'll admit that it needs to be waxed. Your Honor, for Mr. Letterman accused me of damaging his truck is somewhat like Emmett Kelly uh, accusing me of damaging his clothing. <laughs> I removed it as a public nuisance because people who often come to my house will go out of their way not to see this nuisance. When I jog at night, the truck is parked close to the street. I have to avoid the truck and actually run with the traffic at my back. Your, Your Honor, may I interject something? How, how long is the truck, though, it's Mr. Carson? Uh, how long? Yeah. <laughs> Just... How long does it take you to get around this truck? Uh, Your Honor, may, may I make a point here? I don't think... He didn't answer my question yet. Yes, listen to the judge. <laughs> I actually have to detour around the truck, Your Honor, into the roadway. Yes. Which, which poses a danger. Po right. Point of order? I... We're not in a meeting, not we're not in a court. Meeting. What would you like to tell me, well, sir? Well, I'd just like to tell you that I, 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 I don't think Mr. Carson r runs. <laughs> That, that is not true, Your Honor. I do run frequently at night past Mr. Letterman's home. Uh -huh. I, How far do you run? At, uh, on... uh, no... se several miles. Several miles. Mm -hmm. Oh. Right. Uh, <laughs> could you could admonish the, uh, the, the plaintiff not to make the issue? Let me take the steak away. I don't like the owner. Yes. Uh, let me ask you something, Mr. Letterman. Yes, sir. You yes, claim that this, the truck was damaged, the headlight was damaged Absolutely. Or something? Uh, I have did you have it repaired? Uh, I have estimates to have it repaired. I have three estimates to have it repaired. Did I see them? See the estimates? Yes, sir. All right. Let me get them from my massive briefs here. <laughs> you pass those. Would you sir. be good enough to pass yeah, those? Sure. Well, I also have an affidavit, a sworn uh, statement of a gentleman who uh, looks after my home that the truck, in fact, was damaged upon its return. Uh, notarized. Right. It was notarized. Good, 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 good. Well, the, uh, you've, given, you've given me two estimates, sir. Yeah, I know. My dog ate the other one. <laughs> All right. You, you may, may I interject, Your Honor? Yes, you may. Uh, as you can see, that the headlight was not damaged when the truck was on stage. The truck was returned to Mr. Letterman's home, where it sat on the street, unguarded. Well, which who drove, who drove the truck back? Uh, our staff returned the truck to Mr. Letterman's house. Uh, you have days. an affidavit from anyone from the staff that when you brought it back, it was not damaged at all, sir? Oh, yes. Do you have it with you? Well, I'll get it for you. <laughs> My, my staff will give me whatever I want, sir. <laughs> but... Sir, you sound suspiciously like some of my litigants. No, no, sir. Uh, the truck was returned to Mr. Letterman's home, but the truck sat out there for three days before oh. Mr. Uh, Letterman realized that the headlight had been damaged. A blatant, blatant miscarriage of justice. Uh, were you were you were you living there, Mr. Letterman, at the time? Absolutely, I have photographic evidence. By you the you way. were staying there at the time the truck was parked yeah, for yeah. three days. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but I have something tells me you weren't. Well, uh, Mr. Letterman actually was in New York, Your Honor, at that time. Were you in New York, Mr. Letterman? Oh, all right, damn it. <laughs> that is. <laughs> My, my case is, uh, Your Honor, that Mr. Letterman uh, suffered no actual damages whatsoever. I have photographic evidence right here, by the way. When, was the, when were those photographs these, these, taken? These pictures were taken uh, uh, 4 2286, four days after I asked for my truck to be returned. I asked if it uh, could be returned that evening and was told uh, laughingly that it would have to wait till Tuesday. All right. So they could do some of this wonderful body work on it. <laughs> Who took these pictures, Mr. Letterman? Uh, I, I, I took those uh, pictures. You didn't take the one of yourself, yeah, did you? Yeah, I'm just testing the camera. Does he look like this? I don't know. 
Yeah, no, it, it's a common practice among uh, comedians, uh, uh, Your Honor, to play practical jokes, uh, jokes and stunts from time to time. It's almost an internecine thing that comedians do. This is, at worst, is a practical joke, and Mr. Letterman suffered no actual damages whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What other damage did you suffer, Mr. Letterman, I, other I think, than this headlight that you allege? Uh, I, I, I didn't get to use the truck for four days. I, I use it on the weekends. I take it down to San Diego and bring some friends over the border. Uh, <laughs> There's no proof, uh, Your Honor, that the truck is even in operating condition or actually runs. Uh, I could go on to, for a long time, gentlemen, and I'm sure you have other evidence to present, but I think I've probably heard enough, so I'm going to take a short recess, and I'll come back and give you my decision. Thank you, Your Honor. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, tough. We'll be right back. For the judge's decision. You may be seated, gentlemen. I don't know if you can take this unless you're sitting down. <laughs> uh, let me tell you first that uh, by taking the car, Mr. Carson, uh, you did it because there was a, it was a nuisance. That's what you're alleging. If it was truly a private nuisance, you can abate the nuisance. Uh, if it's on public uh, property, which it was. <laughs> if it wasn't a nuisance and you abated it uh, using self-help, you're guilty of conversion. If you're guilty of conversion, you're liable for damages. There you go. Conversion? If I've ever seen a converter, it's this guy. Mr. Letterman, it's my turn. I'm sorry. I lost my head. Forgive me. He's lucky I'm not a comedian. I could have said something. Yes. <laughs> a nuisance is defined as something that is injurious to health or is indecent or offensive to the senses all or of something those. that interferes with a comfortable enjoyment of life or property. All of those. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a very pretty sight. It's not a very, uh, it's not a very pretty truck. But uh, I must agree with Mr. Letterman that it's not a nuisance. Thank you. Thank you very it's much. It's not a nuisance. Oh, thank God. When we say thank it's offensive, Lord. it has to be offensive to a reasonable person and not just <laughs> offensive to Johnny Carson. <laughs> By that, I don't suggest, sir, that you're not reasonable. I just I say it's, it's an objective standard. It's a yes. reasonable man standard. It's not or reasonable woman standard. Yes. Mm. So uh, you didn't have any right to take the truck. You mm. did. You did it as a practical joke, perhaps as a, as a gag. <laughs> but the, but the, uh, the light was damaged. And from the evidence that I've heard, it's probably damaged in your possession. Therefore... <laughs> I find that you're liable, you're liable to Mr. Letterman in the sum of $24.95. Oh, $24.95? Yes. Yeah! And the stakes go back to Mr. Letterman. Oh, yes. thank you very much. You can have the stakes. Oh, that's very generous of you. Thank you very much.